Hello everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I get to share with you guys my candle haul from the 895 candle sale. Now I got, I was one of those people that got to my uh, Bath and Body Works. Actually, I got there at the time they were supposed to open. I did not realize that they were going to open early that day. So my store typically opens up, I think I'm going to say it's 10, 10 o'clock. And so I rolled up at 10 o'clock and let me just say the store was full already. I was one of the few people that was allowed straight in, but after I went in, I'd say maybe three or four minutes after I walked in, they had a like a employee standing out front of the store and basically a person would go in and a person would come out. A person would go in, a person would come out and a person would go in. That's how they had to play it. The day that I went to the 895 sale, the store that I went to, their air conditioning broke. And so it was so warm in there. I live in Florida. And so that was not one of our coolest winter days. Actually, today is one of our coolest winter days here in Florida right now, so far this winter. And so I felt so bad for all the employees because let me just say some people got really cranky because it was warm up in that um, Bath and Body Works. However, you know, there was a candle sale. I'm going to be there. And my daughter was laughing as I was walking out the door. She's like, you're really going to the candle sale? you're going to go into that mess. And you guys, I didn't go out on Black Friday or on Brown Thursday, as I like to call it, because I really don't enjoy being in like a lot of groups of people like that. However, I make my ex exception for Candle Day. I picked up, and after saying all that, I would have to tell you that I only got five candles. Um, I had one of those coupons that it was $15 off a percentage, and I can't remember what the amount was. Maybe it was off of 50. I can't remember. But uh, I ended up doing the math, and I decided that five candles met the criteria. I didn't have to get any more and I didn't need any more. I have, like I've told you guys, I have several put away and they're kind of hard to store because they're heavy and they actually broke one of the shelves in my house. So I've decided I'm not going to be storing, you know, a lot of any particular candle, but the five that I got are five candles that I love. And so why don't I just stop babbling and share with you guys what I ended up picking up. And so let's just dig in here and see what I got. I got champagne toast. Guys, I love this candle. It's so good. And the notes on it are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tam tangerine. And you know what? I One of the reasons I picked up this candle, and I actually got two of this one, is that this is a scent that I can just continue using right into the winter, in the winter months, right after the holidays uh, kind of go by. I tend to not be quite as gourmand. I can burn this right through spring because the scent is just so effervescent. It's just so fresh and effervescent and it's just um the berry note comes through, the citrus comes through, so it'll it'll scent the house lovely, but at the same token, it's not so gourmand as let's say a cinnamon or a clove or a pumpkin, you know. Once we go past the holiday season, I don't want that in my home. You know, I I, I don't get me wrong, I like that, but I tend to go for, I take, I make a shift. And so I ended up getting two of that. Candle. The next one I picked up was Spice Apple Toddy. Guys, I was so excited to get this. I love Spice Apple Toddy. I heard someone say that it's the same thing as leaves. Is that true? If you know, let me know. Um, I love the smell of it. And it's cinnamon and clove essential oils with a note of apple brandy. To me, it smells different. I have leaves here and I kind of took a smell. I didn't buy it in this uh, batch, but they don't smell the same. But someone was telling me that they are the same. You know, you guys tell me because you guys seem to know a lot more about these things than I do. Let me go ahead and put it back in here because they gave you this neat little case to hold them in. And I'm actually going to store them just like that. It's so uh, convenient and easy. Uh, the next one, uh, again, champagne toast. I didn't know where it was at, but yes, that's another one that forgot. I got the second of that one. And then, oh, these are so pretty, guys. Look at this. This one is the white spiced pear, and look at the lid. Oh, so pretty with the marble, right? Is that not gorgeous? And it's in the gold. And this one has Bartlett pears, white rum, cranberry vanilla, and fresh cinnamon. Ah, I can't get the lid off of it <laughs> to give you a whiff, but you guys, Oh, there we go. I got the lid off of it. Oh, it's so good. It is a bit gourmand because it does have the vanilla and the, and the pear and the cinnamon, but it is not uh, uh, such an intrusive scent, if that makes sense. It's just a lovely, lovely blend. I hope it burns really well. Um, I kind of regret not getting two of this one, but my nose, um, 
was not picking up senses well there was a lot of sense up in that room that day there was a lot of people and i i just I didn't need any more, so I just got one of this one. And then the last set that I picked up, I think this is a gift, and it's peppered suede. Peppered suede. And I love the rose gold and the marble lid. And this is, to me, this is a man scent. It smells like a man to me. It's an effervescent bergamot, black peppercorn, soft amber wood, and lavender. And I don't get a lot of the lavender, lavender in here. I get the whole amber wood thing and the bergamot. It does. It smells like a man, like a man's Old Spice shampoo or, you know, their uh, cologne. Not Old Spice necessarily, but you know what I mean. Um, and I have a girlfriend who loves the scent of man. I mean, she she is always telling me, I don't know how you like Garmon scents. I like my house to smell like a man. And I'm like, okay. So I listened and I picked one up for her for... Um, for Christmas and so those were the five candles that I picked up on that day so but what I decided to go ahead and do is uh, a couple weeks back they had the soaps on sale for $2.95 and I haven't been feeling really well and I've been having some technical difficulties with my camera I had to get a new camera guys um, and so I hadn't done a video on that so if you don't mind I'm gonna go ahead and include the soaps in this one and if you're not interested thank you for stopping by and if you are hold tight and we'll go right into that the first thing I got was the cinnamon caramel swirl and I got the one with the gingerbread man and I also got the cinnamon caramel swirl and I got this really pretty bottle kind of like the champagne toast container it has swirls on it and curly cues it's just so pretty and again this one it just smells like the cinnamon caramel swirl candle I didn't buy that candle because I have several of those caramel candles from the fall that one back there is one of them so I didn't need them right now so those were the two soaps that I ended up buying that day but I also picked up these things and I don't know if you guys have seen them but my Bath and Body Works has these and they're the um tarts they're like little tarts and they had them on sale five for fifteen dollars and so I picked up the one in leaves I picked up the one in Tis the Season. I got the Spiced Apple Toddy as well. I got Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Oh, can't wait to burn that one. And then I got Marshmallow Fireside. And I ended up getting all of those because sometimes I burn candles. Oops, sorry, I dropped one. Sometimes I burn candles and sometimes I prefer to burn my tart burners. Um, it's just easier. You don't have to watch them quite as much. And uh, I have two tart burners in my house. And I typically buy the uh, the cube, not the cubes. I typically buy the tarts from um, Yankee Candle. So I was wanting to give these a try. So I figured I'd get a sampling of the fall and winter scents and see how I like them. If I like them, I may not continue buying the... Uh, Yankee Candle ones because I tend to like the candles better at Bath and Body Works. That being said, I love the Autumn Reef one from um, Yankee Candle, but again, that's a fall scent, so maybe one of these will replace it. So then I forgot to share with you guys. Oh, I'm such an airhead. I on uh, Candle Day I picked up this beautiful candle holder. It's like little snowflakes, and I had a coupon that you could get. Uh, any product I think it was $13.50 or less for free and this one was $12.50 so I've got this one I think it's gorgeous I'm gonna put it back here um, after this video because I just think it's so pretty um, I couldn't believe that it was free <laughs> and then lastly on the day that I picked up the tarts I had a coupon to get another product for free and I ended up buying the Coco Shea Honey um, body wash is it uh, because it was free. Uh, I've been liking the Aveeno body wash. I like it a lot. And um, I typically don't like the regular body washes at Bath and Body Works, but this one says it's instant moisture and it's incredibly creamy. So I thought I would give it a go. It's free. And if it does work out, then I could just kind of buy these instead of the Aveeno. But right now, Aveeno's body wash is the bomb. I mean, it's the best body wash I've used so far. And guys, lastly, I know this has absolutely nothing to do with Bath and Body Works, but I thought I'd throw this candle into the mix. And I went to Trader Joe's and I, this is in my Trader Joe's haul that I recently shared. I got the Cedar Balsam candle. 
I did not pick up the Fresh Balsam candle from Bath and Body Works because that one to me is just so strong. I, d I cannot do that candle. It gives me a headache. And they didn't have the Vanilla Balsam this year or Creamy Nutmeg. What is the matter with those people? I'm just not happy about that. But anyways, when I saw this one at um, Trader Joe's, I, I wanted to get it because it's got a mixture of cedar wood and sweet balsam and it's a coconut soy wax. So it's a, a cleaner burn. Um, I will keep you guys posted as to what I feel about these Trader Joe candles because um, sometimes, you know, when I'm there, and this is like $3.99, if I end up enjoying them, I may pick up several more next year. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great day and that you're having a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays or, you know, whatever it is that you celebrate. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I hope you guys come back and visit me again. And guys, be blessed. Bye.